Okay, YouTube, I'm going to do another test. I think I figured out how to keep it burning until there's nothing at all left. No ashes at all. Um, we'll do a test here and see what happens. The way I light this, I just take a little bit of lighter fluid and dump it in. Just a little bit to coat the surface of the the top layer of the pellets. Then I put a little bit on a piece of paper. Light it and then throw her in. We'll get her going. I'll keep track of the time, how many pellets we're using and everything. Okay, I'll get her lit. Okay, we got her lit. Just let it go for a minute or so and then I'll hook up the fan and get it going. Okay, we got the fan going. I don't know if you can see in there. We started up, now I'm going to keep track of time. It's 10.45. We'll see how long this goes. Okay, we got... It's been five minutes exactly, exactly, and we're going good now. Starts off a little slow, but then it goes. Goes good. Five minutes, and we're going. Took me a while, and a lot of different... Things I tried to get this to so it would burn the whole distance of the tube. But basically, I got it full to the, from this point down to about the top where this fan goes in, this computer fan. It's about seven inches from here to here, and the tube's about. The way I have it now, it's about an inch and a half diameter, and it held exactly one cup of wood pellets. I got the garage door shut, and there's no smoke. I put a 90 degree angle right here, a 90 degree pipe, then I put a, we have the T with the fan going in, this is a 6 inch nipple, and that's installed into another T, so you can see we have the 90, and then I've been fooling around with the height, this height here too. The way I have this set up, we could probably go, which I'll try some other time, but we could go another inch. I think you can buy these eight inches long, so we could get a few more pellets in there, but we'll see what this does. It's still running great. The further it burns down, it seems like the hotter this thing gets too, the more it, because it gets closer to the where the fan is. And last time I tried this, it burnt every single bit of that, of the pellets all the way down to the bottom. There was nothing left. Just standing here, I can feel this area, this whole area, warming up. Okay, I'm going to go check the time and see how much time we've been burning so far.
Okay, it has been exactly 15 minutes. Everything's still running great, as you can see. It's about 20 degrees outside. In the garage it was about, let's see, 35 degrees. About 35 degrees. And it is, it's very hot. I can't put my hand over it. Do some temperature readings. We're hitting about 350. Still running really good. It's been about almost 20 minutes, about 18, 18 minutes. It's been exactly 25 minutes. Got temperatures of anywhere from three to four thirty. Still burning great. We might be halfway down in the tube. I don't know. Now if you, if you throw some more, you can throw more pellets in now because I tried it. And this thing will really get going. But I'm just going to let her burn all the way down like this. You could easily boil water once you get this going. Plus I have a, this is just a very small computer fan. I don't know if you can see it, but it's just a real cheap. You can pick them up on eBay for like two three dollars there's not that much air going in I have another one coming that's a little stronger so I'm gonna try that too but another computer fan it's about 25 minutes and it's still going good it's nice and warm in the garage here I'm gonna open the door up to let some get some more oxygen in the garage but just to be safe. There should be plenty of cubic feet of air in here to be okay. But And I do have a carbon monoxide detector, so, so far they haven't gone off. I mean, I can wave my hand across so it's not overly hot but it's a nice little heater like I said before I can really get a flame shooting out of there if I added more pellets right now but I'm not gonna okay it's been exactly 30 minutes I got about almost 600 degrees right in here. Everything's still burning good, half hour. So you can see where the fan is. I'll show you the temp there. It's only 46 degrees, so there's no problem with the fan at all. Let's 
see I got that clear up here to the front and there's still only 52 degrees the air going in it's about 40 degrees so this area right in here it's about 40 degrees and I'll show you inside it's the flames a little higher now once it when it gets lower it burns a little bit hotter Again, the way I have this, you don't need any tools to build this. It's starting to get a little more rocket sound effect to it now. Okay, we'll go check the time. Looks like it's getting down. Might be a quarter left to burn. Okay, it's been 35 minutes. We're getting close to 800 degrees down here. This will be where the fire's burning down here on this pipe. So it's getting Closer, close to the bottom. The air going in, it's a little warmer there now. If you can see that, it's about 80 degrees. But if I get out towards this fan, it's about 60 degrees. So that pipe's warmed up a little bit. I think it's getting warmer in the garage too. It's getting close to the bottom. It blows out some ash, just a little bit of ash. It's about 500 degrees down inside that pipe. Thirty-five minutes. It's been 35 minutes. I'm about 20 feet away from that rocket stove and we're getting real close to 40 degrees inside the garage. This garage is insulated so it's pretty warm in here anyway. But It's been 40 minutes. Still running, it's getting close, but it's still running. I opened up the garage door. I have this battery, and as you can see, I have some solar panels that I can charge the battery with. That fan doesn't take hardly any power, so I have plenty of power in my solar panels to run, charge that battery up to run this heater. I, I'll show you a little bit here. I got it. Plus, I have a bunch of other batteries here. A couple heavy duty 6 volt wired together to make 12 volts. That's all running into this control charger, which charges my, my main big batteries here. You can see there it is just burning down to nothing down there. It's died down a little bit because it's almost done. It's been close to looks like one couple burned for about 45 minutes maybe, but we'll check the time again.
Yeah, I can hold almost. It's still real high. If I'm trying to hold my hand over it, but it's cooled off a little bit. Okay, after 45 minutes, she was done. Still warming up for about another 15 minutes. You could stand next to it. It's been about an hour now. And I can, it's cooled off. It's still warm, but I can hold my hand on it. There we go. We got that part figured out to keep the pellets burning. And there is not even an ash left in there. All the way down to nothing. One cup of pellets. Here's the pellets. It's summer set like four dollars for a whole 40 pound bag I'll do a few calculations on the amount we used but there it is okay there you go it's cooled off you can see there's where the pellets would have been sitting there's no Nothing left. No, not one pellet left. Just a little bit of ashes in there. Okay, I did a little calculations. One cup, that's about seven ounces. I weighed it. Bag of pellets is 40 pounds or 640 ounces so that'd be like 92 cups in that 40 pound bag so one cup will burn about 45 minutes so that's 92 times 45 minutes which comes up to 70 hours so this will burn about three days off of one bag of pellets about three days straight day and night it's kind of interesting thanks YouTube